Yo, 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 what's good everybody? This your boy Pompey from Pompey Productions. Um This is my first time doing a tutorial. Um basically I'm doing this tutorial for warbeats.com. Um shout shout out to my boy NFX and the whole Warbeats fam. Um anyways, this tutorial is basically going to be on how to route a multi out VST to the mixer in Fruity Loops okay um, a lot of people have asked this question and you know you can explain it in the words but sometimes it's a lot easier to see things so I'm gonna do this tutorial uh, basically I'm gonna show how to do it in hypersonic and how to do it in sample tank okay so here we go as you can see I already have hypersonic um, loaded and I have um, sample tank loaded as well alright alright so the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to take hypersonic and I'm going to route it to a mixer channel okay so in this case I'm gonna route it to insert one um, you can go here if you like to the channel settings and put it to FX1 um, so it'll be routed to um, channel 1 but what I like to do is I like to select the mixer channel and hit control L um, it automatically puts the channel well, in from the step sequence into the channel on the mixer and it also names it after that channel so um, the next thing I'm going to do I'm going to put in some MIDI outs Yeah, you know, one. Okay, and I'm going to clone three of them, or clone till I get three of them. Now, as you see, if you clone them, um, all of them have the same channel number. Okay, so I'm going to change to two and three. Now, if you go to channels and add another MIDI out, it's going to give you four okay now if you, can, you can do it either way um, if you do it that way it, you don't have to change the channels um, but if you clone you make sure you change the channels alright right now it's going out to port 0 um, let you know which port this, the, this channel is going to be controlling As you see right now there's nothing playing okay um, what you want to do is you see in hypersonic over here it says the port number now make sure it's showing the MIDI input port okay so in order for the correspond hypersonic to the MIDI out you're gonna change this port to zero okay now if we go to one MIDI out for channel one we get sound now okay alright so what we're gonna do is gonna put a few little um, things in here instruments see how things operate I'm not really gonna actually make a beat I'm just gonna put in a couple sounds real quick nothing serious alright so we got three I will work with those three now we go here to the mixer channel alright and I'm gonna click right here let me move some things around so everybody be able to see What's going on okay all right MIDI one you know it's going to control the um first one here okay so should see it playing Now we're gonna go to the MIDI channel two. It should control the natural grand piano that I placed in um, in, hyper in hypersonic. All right, and the third one's gonna control the full bars organ. All right, okay. Now let me go ahead and close this out. 
Now I'm going to play those mixer channels again. Now this time I want you to watch the, the mixer channel right here. Alright. Everything is going to be playing in that one mixer channel that um, Hypersonic is in right here. Alright. So the first one, MIDI out one. Alright. MIDI out two. Cut this off. MIDI out two. And MIDI out three. All right, now all of those are routed through mixer channel one. Okay, where hypersonic is that? What you want to do? You want to get it to where uh, mixer channel where MIDI out one is here, MIDI out two is here, MIDI out three is here, MIDI out four. How many ever MIDI outs you have corresponding in separate mixer channels? All right. So the first thing you want to do, go back to Hypersonic, open up Hypersonic, and click this um, drop-down box, upper left-hand corner. All right. Enable multiple outputs. Make sure that that is selected. All right. Then the next thing you do is click on the Mix button in Hypersonic, and under the Out column right here, see so you have everything in number one. Okay. What you want to do is you can either left click and it'll pull up the numbers. Um, leave the first one on one. Um, left click two. Click three. Or if you right click, it'll scroll through them automatically. Okay. Now we don't have um, six instruments loaded up, so these right here really don't really aren't concerned with right now. But um, you see we got the matrix. Welcome to the matrix on out one. Piano out two, four bars out three. Now we're going to go back here to my step sequencer and to the mix, um, mixer channel. I want you to watch what's going on now. Now um, out one is going to be the out that the actual hypersonic VST is routed to. And each one after that is going to be correspondent behind it. So this is going to be out one, out two, out three, out four, out five, out six, and so forth. All right. So with MIDI one now, MIDI channel one play it it is still routed through um, basically channel one but if we go to two here media channel two as you can see it moved over to insert two mix channel two and with three There you go. You have that one routed to three. Now, um, one thing that I like to do, um, because if you if you look close enough, like let's say if I play MIDI channel um, three, it's routed here now. Okay. If you notice, you see how a little bit of sound, a little bit of sound is coming through um, mixer channel one. You notice that. Okay, so what I like to do is I go into hypersonic, and instead of starting with one, I started at two. First channel, I put it on out two, that one on out three, that one on out four, and so forth. Okay, now this will work up until, you know what I'm saying, because you only have 16 outs. Okay, and the reason I do that is to try to get rid of that little bit of sound, because all of them playing together will eventually get routed through here. Okay. So what I do is I mute this track, actually, mute that track, and then go here. As you can see now, it's routed through channel two. Okay, the first one, the first channel is, and so forth. And with the organ. So none of that sound is coming through this first channel right here. Okay. 